So we were in Nevada and Las Vegas covering the both caucuses, the Democratic and the Republican. On Monday, we headed out to a Ted Cruz event in Summerlin, Nevada, which is about 15 minutes northwest of the Strip in Las Vegas. And uh, kind of an interesting story. On our way in, we were getting closer to the event. Uh, we were following a guy whose bumper stickers on his car said, I'm not a liberal. And then Hillary lied and four people died. And he had a picture of a gun on it, a, you know, a, a assault weapon. So we... We knew what we were getting into, like, whoa, we don't want to be near that guy. Anyway, so we go in and we set up our camera near the press pool where we're supposed to be. And these two old people sat down right next to us. And uh, they were all, they're both white haired, very senior citizens. And they could not be more enthusiastic for Ted Cruz. Every line Ted Cruz said, they were like, woo, yeah, Ted Cruz. So I wanted to interview this guy afterwards. And uh, every time I talked to somebody, uh, I wanted to ask them about health care because they all want to get rid of Obamacare, even though we all know that health care was screwed up uh, in our country. still is screwed up, but it's a little bit better with Obamacare. Certainly not the answer we all are looking for. But I always ask people that. And uh, this gentleman was retired. I knew that. And he was a retired Air Force officer from Vietnam, came home from Vietnam in 1968. So I knew he had government health care. So I always like to ask them what they think about health care, especially when they're on government health care. And if they want other people to have just as good as health care as they have, let's see what they say. But I, I love Ted Cruz and I just am a supporter. And I'm a, I, I had my 79th birthday today, but I came back from Vietnam in 1968. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. And, God and thank you, you for your service. And let me can I have you call one more question. So, so now you're, are you on Medicare now? I'm on Medicare and TRICARE for life. Oh, okay. And how how is that work out? How's that working out? Works out very good. My wife had to go see a doctor this morning. No kidding. And and I I asked uh, I asked uh, uh, Jessica. I said, do you take TRICARE for life and Medicare? She said we do. So that's one thing that they haven't changed. Okay. But I am very blessed to be alive, and in my right mind. So Ted Cruz. So there you go. He's on Medicare. And try care for life. Getting government health care, everything's working out fine for him. Government health care, he loves it. Runs great. <laughs> the guy he's supporting is Ted Cruz, hates government run health care, hates government run anything. Conservatives hate government run anything. Now, here's a guy who comes from government run military, goes to government run health care, loves them both. So it turns out government can run stuff, we just have to run it right. And you know, just like what happened in Michigan, and what happened in Kansas, when you hire people, when you elect people who don't think government works, they think government is the problem. When you hire them like they did in Michigan, when you elect them, they break government. And that's what Ted Cruz will do. He'll break the government. He'll make the things that used to work in the government not work anymore. So here I ask him directly about Obamacare. So Ted Cruz said on on his first day, one of the things he wants to repeal Obamacare, right? And uh, you, are you behind that? I am 100% behind that. All his illegal, executive, unconstitutional orders that he's made. Because he said, if I don't get Congress, he never gave him a chance. Because right. he's bad-mouthing the police and he's causing race relation challenges. But I love God and I love my country and I'm a freedom fighter. Yes. You know... Uh I don't know what race relations have to do with Obamacare, <laughs> but he wants to get rid of it. And uh, I, I, I should have asked him, do you want to re want everyone to have Medicare like you? It's uh, So that was me falling down on the job, not asking that follow-up question. But now we talked to him for a little while longer, and this is kind of interesting, I thought. He was talking about, I asked him, because Ted Cruz wants to rebuild the military, and uh, which, you know, we spend more money on the military than the next eight countries combined. We, 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 we got to rebuild it. So I asked him what that what he means by that. And uh, here's the interesting part. Now, remember how I started this video about we were following someone into the event and the things on their back of their car. Watch this. It really ticks me off on my bumper sticker. I got pray and then vote. Hillary lied. Four Americans died and Hillary lied. There it is. That's the guy. That's the guy we were following in. We take a picture of it because we think it's so hilarious. He cut, ends up sitting next to us, and then he brings it up, and there it is. And hopefully they'll put her in jail someday because uh, she's a piece of work. 
But they really want Hillary in jail, by the way. This I, every event I went to, if there's one thing Republicans agree on, it's their unified hatred of Hillary Clinton. And they will never come over to vote for her. So I just want I thought that was that was hilarious. And by the way, I thought this guy was the sweetest guy. I liked him. He seemed nice. He reminded me of my uncle. And yet here he is supporting a guy who's an obvious demagogue who wants to break our country. Thank you.